Hey all, welcome to today's video. And today I wanna to talk to you about an app that's come out. And this app is an app that will allow you on DoorDash to see the complete payout for all of the orders that come in that you receive on the DoorDash platform. And it's an app that, um, it has recently been developed and it's an app that uh, is being promoted a lot right now. I know that there's going to be a ton of people that jump on this app. I, I know it because um, today we live in a society that, you know, people want to try to cheat the system to get ahead. And it, it's been ingrained, especially in the younger folks. You know, I'm, I'm an OG gamer. I, I played on the original video game consoles when they first came out. And we didn't have cheat codes back then. We had no way of, of cheating the system. We had to learn and do the games um, um, through experience rather than just having a bunch of cheat codes to you know, circumvent what the game was actually supposed to be. And I am still a proponent of not using cheat codes. Uh, my teenager, he loves to use them, but I don't use them even to this day. Not that I game all the time, but when I do, I um, I don't use cheat codes because I like to, to learn how to do something and get really good at it. And, you know, how that translates to what I'm going to talk about today is... I think that you need to learn to be good at um, what you're doing out here when you do the food delivery gig. So um, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I'd also like to ask you to like this video so more people will see it. And um, if you know anyone all that can use the content in my videos that, that get them to help them make that 25 to $30 an hour that I always talk about, then please share my videos with those people so that they can get the great education too. So with that, let's get into the topic. The first thing I want to say is I think that the guys that put this together are great guys. I think that their intentions with putting this app together um, are, are very, very noble. They're trying to make it so that you can see what your payout is on DoorDash. If you work Grubhub and you work Uber Eats, you know that they tell you what your total payout is going to be. I will say on Uber Eats, though, that it is just a guesstimate when they send you and it's not always going to be what they tell you because um, on Uber Eats people have for up to an hour after you've dropped off that food delivery to, to change their tip whether it be add to it or take away from it. Rarely do I have it taken away but um, it does happen sometimes and a lot of the times I will actually get higher tips on Uber Eats. So I just want to uh, put that disclaimer out there that although Uber Eats shows you that this is what your total expected payout is going to be, it's not the actual payout, it's, it's what they're anticipating. DoorDash does something very similar to that in that they tell you this is your guaranteed amount that you're going to make on this order. However, the order could be higher. I talked to you in another video that I took an order from Panera uh, about a week ago where I, it was an $8.50 order. It was going four and a half miles and after I dropped it off, I made $31. I commend DoorDash for doing this actually and I know that there's going to be a lot of people that disagree and say that DoorDash should tell you what the complete payout is and I don't agree with that and the reason I don't agree with it is because you will have people sitting in a hot zone and all they do is sit there and wait for those $20, $25, $30 orders and that's all that they do. And that, that is cherry picking to me. What I do is cherry picking, but I do it in a different way in that I look for the orders that are going to be profitable dollars to time, dollars to mile, and dollars per delivery. But I don't just cherry pick the biggest orders out there. I regularly get paid $3, $4, $5 for orders. And the reason that is, is because I will pick a profitable order and it's a stacked order. And um, when I get done, I find out that one of them was three or four dollars and then the other one was eight or nine dollars. But the total profit for me 
based on my dollars to time and my dollars to mile fit my strategy and I'm actually okay with that. So with this app that's come out, basically what you have to do is you have to give your credentials to that app. And then when you are working on the DoorDash platform, the app will show you the um, complete payout on the DoorDash orders. I actually, I've talked to these guys over the last couple of months. I've talked to them probably, I don't know, four or five times. And, and um, I actually was, was going to collaborate with them because I have some ideas on my own app that I'm going to, to launch in the, in the next probably six months to a year so I can help drivers earn the money that they want to earn. However, with um, the latest addition to this app, which is um, being able to access and see the total payout on DoorDash, I decided not to work with them, and here is why. If you look at your term of service with DoorDash, I'm going to tell you two things. Number one, you're not allowed to use your credentials with a third-party app. It is in the terms of service. You are also not allowed to circumvent the DoorDash platform, and um, that is against its terms of service. So there are two, two uh, red flags right there when, when you consider using this app. And again, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to jump on this app because of what it does. I, and I, I know that the, the app says, you know, hey, you know, we're, we're going to help you, but you're not going to be seen by DoorDash as, um, you know, violating their terms of service. However, there's always a way around it and DoorDash will find that way. The second thing that I want to say is um, with this app in particular, there's a lot of chatter starting about it and there's going to be a lot more in the near future and I, I personally feel that DoorDash is going to find out about it. They may have already and when they do they are going to do everything in their power to shut it down um, because it does violate their terms of service. I don't know if they'll ever find out who is using it and who is, is um, working on that app to, to cherry pick however um it could happen and if it does happen you will be deactivated period you will not get back on to doordash if they find out that you've been using this app and using it to circumvent the system because it violates two issues in the terms of service for doordash the other thing that I want to say about it is this, is if you jump on this app and you start only picking those orders that are completely um, high and, and they're all the time that um, you're picking the ones that are the good ones, do you not think that DoorDash has, has got something in their system to let them know that somebody is always picking the highest dollar orders? and? Um, I, I'm no programmer. I don't know anything about apps. I don't know anything about uh, computer programming, but I would venture to guess that, that DoorDash with all their programmers, I bet that they have something in their system that throws up a red flag that shows when somebody is only picking the highest orders and that will tell them that you are circumventing their system. So that is a third thing that I, I just wanna stress to you. If you use this, this app to circumvent the system, there is a very good likelihood that DoorDash will actually catch on to what you're doing and they will deactivate you. So, um, you know, use this app if you want, but understand the ramifications. You're violating two terms of service with this app, and you're also likely to get caught by DoorDash doing it because DoorDash, they've got a lot of good programmers that, that probably have something built into the system to let them know when somebody is circumventing it. So um, I, I, I know that a lot of you thought this was going to be a video about me telling you all about this great app and get out there and use it, but it, it's completely opposite. I, I'm not going to say what the app is. I'm not going to mention any names of the people that have developed it. 
and um, I, I am just going to warn you up front that you should not use this app to circumvent the system on DoorDash. My caveat to that statement is going to be this. As I tell you all the time, learn the apps in your marketplace. Learn which ones are the best ones for you. Learn which ones pay you the most money and learn which ones will work together to keep you busy all the time. Secondly, learn your marketplace. Know where to go in your marketplace that is not the hot spots that the apps tell you, but your own defined hot spots where you know that you can go and get those orders that are going to earn you the profit that you want to make. I regularly check out some of my other videos, my ride-alongs. I regularly make anywhere from, I'm averaging right now about 28, 40 an hour. And I, I've had days where I've made 34, $35 an hour because I have put in place strategies that work because I know the apps. I know which ones work best in my marketplace. I know how to use the apps together and I know where to go in my marketplace to get the orders that are going to make me the profit that I want to make. Secondly, keep track of your metrics. Your metrics are what tell you everything that you need to know to get better at doing the food delivery gigs. Your metrics will tell you your dollars per hour. It will tell you your dollars per mile. It will tell you your dollars per delivery that you make that I talk about all the time. Start keeping track of your metrics if you don't. I know that I've, I've heard that only about 25% of the people out here um, keep track of their metrics on a daily basis. And what I'm going to say about that is if you want to make the good money out here, you have got to keep track of your metrics. All the YouTubers out here that are doing very well, all of them tell you to keep track of your numbers. I have not found one YouTuber out here that has said anything other than keep track of your numbers so that you know what you're doing when you're out here. Even if it's just keeping track of your dollars per hour and your dollars per mile, that will give you a... a, a great bit of information that will help you do better when you come out here to do your food delivery gigs. So make sure that you start keeping track of your metrics so that you know where you need to tweak and you know where you need to get better to make more money when you're out here. I want to leave you with this today. If you try to cheat the system, the system will likely find out. There are multiple ways if you use this app that the system could find out. And if you are found, you will lose the income that you're out here trying to get for you and your family. I hope that you are really thinking about this before you try to use it because it is a bad idea. And I, for one, will never use anything that tries to circumvent the system on any of the platforms that I use, um, whether it be DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Instacart, Uber Drive, those are the five that I'm on right now, and there might be more in the future. I will never, ever try to circumvent the system because it is morally and ethically wrong, and it is just not a good thing to do. So I hope that you enjoyed today's topic, and I, I hope that I put into some people's heads that, that it's a bad idea to do this, and if you were thinking about it, I hope you're not going to. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so that you can learn to make the money that you need while you're out here for you and your family, and do it morally and ethically and in a system that it is a good strategy um, or strategies that will help you get the money that you want while you're out here. And you don't have to do it by circumventing the system. I'd also like to ask you to like this video. And I'd also like to ask you to share this video. If you know anyone at all that is thinking about using this app, share this video with them so that they can hear what I have to say about it and hopefully change their mind. And um, with that, I'm going to say thanks.